today we are in Tavares, Florida. Sorry, the sun is kind of, look at that, kind of bright. But behind us, right there, is Highway 441 Diner. We have never been, we have driven by it before. Don't even know what they've got. It's a diner though. It's a so diner. I could guess. And so yeah, the reason why it's called 441 is because 441 is right there. Let's go check it out. There's 441. We're right next to Twisty Treat. There's a Wind Dixie. Ooh, that sun is bright. There's a Dollar General, a Joann's, and then Highway 441 Diner. I did look up pictures though, and it does look like a full out diner inside. So I'm excited to see that. I don't know, do we see hours anywhere? 7 a.m. Oh, daily. right there. Open 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Highway 441 Diner. That's some good diner music playing. Oh, look at this. This is fancy. Hostess will seat you. It definitely is a diner feel in here. Looks like we're gonna be seated right here. So it looks like restrooms are back in that left-hand corner over there. They've got all these cars up here. Look at this. Oh yeah. Definitely has the feel of a diner. And just behind Timber, they have a wall. Meals and memories are made here. They have a car show. Hey, they have a car show first Wednesday of every month. So on March 1st at four o'clock, they have a car show. They've got desserts, soups, all you can eat, famous fried fish. Zoom in a little bit more on that menu so you can see that. I love the neon lights all around. I love also all the cars that gives you that old school diner feel. Let's look at the menu. So you can see, come enjoy our classic car show on the first Wednesday of every month. Highway 441 Diner. Come dine in the 50s. Open seven to nine. We look at the first page, what do we got? Oh, they have breakfast served 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. and then Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sorry, the music's a little loud in here, so I'm gonna try to talk over the music. Some omelets down here. Sourdough French toast. Route 66 waffle and chicken. And over here we've got pancakes, favorites. Look at that biscuit, biscuits and gravy there. Waffles, sandwiches, some beverages. Turn to the next page. Maybe it's easier to do this. Got some breakfast specials. That's cool, we'll have to check out the car show sometime. Over here we have lunch and dinner, 10 to close every day. So appetizers, soups, salads, fried green beans. Oh, I love fried green beans. Combo platter, you can choose three from above. Highway wings. There's some dressings down below. If we turn the page, we've got burgers. Quite a bit of burgers. Sandwiches. Ooh, a ham and cheese sandwich. You guys know I like ham and cheese and a grilled cheese. But just so I don't get yelled at, I'm gonna try something else this time. And then over here, we've got subs and wraps. More subs, more subs. So far, I'm not seeing any gluten-free or gluten-sensitive items like marked, but this is a huge menu. So over here, we have diner specials, pasta dishes, spinach pie, Greek platter. And over here, we've got steaks and ribs, seafood. They pretty much have any sort of genre of food available. All you can eat fried catfish all day, every day. <sighs> Arms getting tired here. Kids menu, beverages, which we already took our order. We both got raspberry tea. They said currently all they have is raspberry tea. Desserts, I feel like a milkshake's good here. And over here they've got pizza. Lots of pizza choices. And then, that's it. We would love your positive feedback online. Visit our Facebook page and website. That is a very large menu. Do you have any idea what you're getting? Have you even made it through all the menu yet? It's like, it's a big one. 
I think I'm looking more on this page. So we've got the burgers, which look good. There's a classic Reuben. I haven't had a Reuben in forever. Look at a hot dog though. You don't see hot dogs very often, but at a diner you do. You're thinking possibly the, what'd you say? The buffalo chicken wrap? Oh, there it is right there. And it's topped with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and mayo, unless otherwise noted. It's served with french fries. Upgrade to onion rings for $1.25. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure yet. Look at that hunger buster. Provolone, bloomin' onion, and mayo on garlic bread. James Dean is right behind me. Right there. I went with uh, Reuben. Definitely want to try it here. Got the extra side of um, Thousand Island. And then you did go with the buffalo chicken wrap. I'm guessing their fries are pretty tasty. Diner fries are usually pretty good, so fingers crossed. And they are playing really good music. Just so you know, trying the raspberry tea. Pretty, pretty raspberry, that's for sure. It's good though. Also, these tables remind me of like a bowling alley. Yeah, let me show you. Definitely looks like a bowling alley table, but I like it. So you can kind of see what the booths look like. The only thing they are missing are like the little jukeboxes on the end of the table. That would be really cool if they could do that. But they've got a lot of cool stuff hanging up in here. Also, I don't think you could see it when I first showed walking in, but up at the front, they did have like a bunch of like pies and desserts up there. So looks like they make their pies daily is what I would say since they've got the little uh, case that shows what they've got today. <laughs> All right, here's the food. So here's the Reuben, here's the fries. Oh, those fries are extremely hot. Just burnt my finger off, but they feel very crispy. Let's see. Yep, they're crispy and hot. <sighs> this is what the Reuben looks like. Oh, that looks delicious. Over here we have the wrap, which also looks very, that's a massive wrap, very warm. It just came out of the oven. Oh. Both look very good. I'm excited to dig in, but we're gonna need a minute because it's extremely hot. All right, I'm gonna try to do a fry, but they are extremely hot. Here we go. What do you think? Very hot. Good price, yeah. Those are very good. You can see there's a bit of a crunch to them, so that's good. Reuben. Why the music stopped? Look at the size of that. Here we go. That's a good Reuben. It's a very large Reuben, so now the music's back. I'm gonna work on it. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty large, very large actually, wrap. Dig in. You see the steam coming off that. What'd you think? That's good. Is it good? Is it spicy? I didn't really get a lot of spice in that bite. You got a little bit more spice then? Yeah. The, the buffalo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a very large sandwich. Not gonna lie, we could have shared. We could have shared the wrap too, probably. I was just looking at their board over there and they've got a dinner for two, two New York strips with 12 shrimp for $35.99 or two salmon with 12 shrimp. Both come with four sides, $3.35.99. That's a good deal. I don't think I'm gonna stuff myself. It was, it was very good, I enjoyed it. I'll eat a few more fries, but I feel like at a diner, you have to get like some sort of dessert, right? So if she comes back over here, I might ask again what all dessert they have and we might try some of that. I will try one bite of the wrap. So it's good, but we both agree. That's like the batter smidgen salty mm -hmm. definitely pretty salty meal there like you can taste actually right away that there's a lot of salt in that but it's a good wrap mm -hmm. just a smidgen salty so for dessert they have apple pie key lime pie carrot cake which your eyes lit up so we're getting carrot cake chocolate cake coconut cream pie they just checked they do have coconut cream pie so i'm getting that milkshakes was there anything else That's i think i menu. saw on the menu they it showed cheesecake but she didn't shakes, obviously. she didn't say that they had cheesecake tonight but i got lucky with the coconut cream pie that's one of my absolute favorite pies and then she got the carrot cake not sure what the price is on these so we'll find out here shortly but there is the carrot cake and it looks like really good carrot cake and then I am very excited for this. Here's the coconut cream pie and it looks very good as well. So we're gonna dig into both of those. I'm, I can't wait. Here it is. Oh, wow. That's some delicious, like very, very good 
coconut cream pie. Very good. Very rich. Very good. Now let's try the carrot cake. All right, carrot cake. Very good. I think you know what I'm gonna say. What drink do I need right now? Milk. Need some milk. Both. You can tell they're like high quality dessert. I like them both. Yeah. I'm glad it's not like sometimes they make the piece so big, like Colton's. I was just gonna say I love Colton's. Colton's is probably top notch though. Gosh, but so how long did we eat on that? Like three solid days. <laughs> And you don't like coconut cream pie, do you? I wish you could try it, it's so good. I could try it, I don't want to. I wish you would try it, it's so good. I'm gonna have to call it quits. I am stuffed. I did drink two teas tonight, so there's that too, but we normally share and we kind of went all out on this one, so definitely full. Here is a look at the bill. So total is $43.81. That includes two drinks, two entrees, and two desserts. So not bad at all. Normally we would share, so you could easily share like that chicken wrap for $11.99 and share dessert. And that would take what, 11 and six, $17 off. So you'd be in the 20s. Not bad, not bad to share. All right, we are heading outside. Another look at this side, the restaurant, back outside. All right, that was our trip out to Highway 441. 441 Diner here in Tavares, Florida. That's a good diner. I mean, it's got diner food. I think I really like the breakfast. So that's something we'll have to try sometime. Um, if you don't get dessert there, you're right next to Twisty Treats. You get dessert there. Love the dessert. Like I said, we normally share and this time we didn't. So I am really full. Um, next time we will share and it'll be half the price. Uh, it has a nice, nice theming. Music was the best part, I think. Music was good. You enjoyed the music a lot. So if you're out in this area and oh, also we want to try the car show sometime. The first of every month or the first, was it Tuesday, Wednesday? I'm sure I don't Facebook remember, or website or something. but March 1st, whatever that day is. Wednesday. Wednesday. First Wednesday of every month. So that would be fun to come to. And yeah, if you're just in the area, stop by. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.